What's good fam? Right now I'm in Upanga East, one of the affluent areas here in Dar es Salaam. What's good fam? Right now I'm in Upanga East, one of the affluent areas here in Dar es Salaam. Now you'll find many people from the Tanzanian Indian community that live in this section of town here in Dar es Salaam. Very, very affluent area, lovely roads that you can see. And straight down here, straight ahead where you can see my hand pointing, that is the Aga Khan Hospital, one of the premier and best hospitals here in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. So here, we're just gonna take a walk around. I'll show you the places you'll see um, where some of the people go to eat and stuff like that in this affluent area here in Dar es Salaam. So Upanga East um, has a few notable landmarks like right in front of us here, this building here, that is the Kambarage House. Okay, and just across the street you'll find the casino where you get a lot of people come and you know gamble and have a good time especially on the weekend and further up you'll find the um, language school there for the French if you want to learn French and stuff, stuff like that so very um, notable area here in Dar es Salaam and we're just gonna walk around and see what the vibe is like so like I was saying you get a lot of people from the Indian community that live in this parts here right over there where you can see the zebras this is a music school so you get children that comes here to learn certain instruments and singing and stuff like that and these are all homes right here these are places where people live and an overall thing you will see when you come to Panga East so we're coming up to it right now these are like you know barbecue houses you know you get your kebabs you get your grilled chicken different things like that all of that can be found here so you can see this one here is a Syrian restaurant. I think this one is newly open. So you get things from the Middle East. And this one here is barbecue house. So you people come here and they get, you know, barbecue chicken. And in the evening, you get a lot of chairs, people sitting, a lot of people come and relax here in the evening and just enjoy a good meal. Relatively safe. I've walked here up to um, midnight sometimes in the past to come on and have something to eat and I, I didn't face any problem so really nice area so right in front of me here this is a very large apart apartment you can see from the structure of it it's a it's a modern structure very tall you 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 find a lot of them in Upanga East and these apartments are more high-end in comparison to other parts here in Dar es Salaam Hello, how are you? One thing I'll say, you can see there's sidewalk pavement here. Very clean. The streets on this section of town, very, very much clean. At night, really late at night. I shouldn't even just say at night. Five times throughout the day, you'll also hear the call to prayer here. You get a lot of people who follow the Islamic faith. So there are a few mosques around here as well, here in Upanga East. And these are all entrances here to people's homes. This is a local shop and again you'll find a restaurant this is a restaurant here again and you can get local food and have a beer and stuff like that so it's called drop in 36 taste of home so you get a lot of people from the asian community a lot of them are pretty much like i said in my previous vlog integrated here in the tanzanian society and um this is it let's walk this side so 
So just outside the mosque, you'll, you'll find people selling stuff as well, like sugar cane juice, you can get tea in the evening. There's a real kind of community spirit out here, man. You know, peaceful vibes. These are all fruits, papaya, oranges, bananas, quite colorful. And this is the mosque here in Upanga East. Really big one actually. So here you will hear the call to prayer five times a day. People come in to pray and stuff like that. And in the coast, coastal towns in here, like I said, you'll find many people who follow the Islamic religion, but they're also people of other faiths as well. So this is Baker's Paradise. You get some good bread and cakes and stuff here in Upanga East. A lot of nice pastries we can get here. Baker's Paradise. Now just behind the previous building that I was showing you, you at the back here you'll also find more apartments. So these are high rising apartments here where people live and there are quite a lot of them in Upanga East. When you visit here you will notice them quite a lot. You know so these are the type of uh, places of choice for people who live here that could afford it. You're looking at around, let's say, anything from 400 US a month and up upwards per month for an apartment around here. So these are like a convenience store and all of that can be found on this street. So all further down, that will lead you to a whole nother section. But pretty much this side here is where the action is, where, we are, where we're walking around right now. And you can see here, you got a lot of people coming out with their families to eat during the evening times. So you notice that a lot. And this is what the um, chicken and, and all of that looks like, barbecue chicken and stuff. And this is where people come to eat, man. This is a vibe out here. This munchies, you know, another place. If you're if you're a foodie, you will love it around here. Up until like midnight anytime throughout the day you'll find these uh especially from the evening time goes right up past midnight these places are open uh, you know but if you're if you're a person that might be a vegetarian or a, a vegan or something like that you, you know you might and um 
want to eat their chicken and stuff baby. okay i hope you've been enjoying this video so far guys and i'm always going to be providing you with amazing and lit content out here inspire for travel channel is popping anyways right now I've, you can see i've got my king t-shirt on and i've got a few other t-shirts which i did like for example tanzania whole other different t-shirt on my website so you can see right now if you're on your mobile phone you can see examples of the t-shirt right under this video if not link in the bio to my website and support the channel by purchasing a t-shirt get your t-shirt game on point for the summer guys peace out and enjoy the video fruit juice or something you can get that here So yeah, Upanga East is definitely one of the um, upmarket, you know, more affluent side here in Tanzania. And like I said, you know, you get the kind of upper middle, middle class people, you know, especially people from the Tanzanian Indian community that live here. But you also get, of, of course, indigenous Tanzanians that live here as well. So this is also apartments right up. So people get to hang their clothes on that porch there. And they have security right around the clock. You know? This is another place where people come and chill out in the evening times. You know what I mean? Yeah, so this is the vibes on this side here in Upanga East, man. So I'm gonna walk to the other side and we'll see what that side is like. Yeah, just a nice chill vibes, nice cool day. We're just strolling through Panga East, checking out the vibe, see what's happening. So no matter where you're coming from, you may be coming from India, Pakistan, you may want to see people who reflect your culture. You can come here, if you're not from those places, you can still come here. There's some nice places to eat. Depending on what religion you are, there's some places where you can pray, meet other people of your religion. So yeah, it's a good vibe here in Upanga East, baby. So these places that we're walking through is literally just across the street from Kambarage House or the casino. So if you're coming here, a very key point of interest is the casino in Upanga East. And once you get to the casino in Upanga East, you just walk on the back street and you'll find these places where we're walking right now. And you can check out some of the places that you're seeing. Real chill vibe, you know? Some of the parts like in Dar es Salaam, like Mbagala, Temeke, could be quite congested, a lot of people. So if, you, if you're looking for something a bit more laid back, chilled environment, then this is a place to be. There's some of the houses here, real nice, you can tell. There's a lot of money behind this one. And this is one of the grill bars here where people come. It's called Simba Grill. You know? Uh -huh. Not sure what this building here is, but it got a 
my clock tower. Yep, it's around two minutes to six. They uh, have some palm trees and stuff outside. It's real nice. So if you know what this building is, guys, comment in the comment section below. Let me know. Now we're coming up to a place, it's a restaurant and yeah usually on the eat like I said in the evening time you get a lot of people there'll be chairs, tables here, the grill and everything and people come to eat and you can get pizza here as well so one of the few places where you can get pizza and this is it here man barbecue prawns, barbecue fish, steak, mutton ribs all of that can be purchased here you can get that right here so this is pretty much a vibe here in Upanga East um, I wouldn't say it's like a you know a top tourist attraction you know not many you don't get many tourists coming through here apart from those who may be visiting the casinos those who are going to the Aga Khan hospital they may need a Covid test or something like that you can get all of that at the Aga Khan hospital which is here in Upanga East and if you're if you're also going to the french language um place there where they usually have concerts you can learn french and all of that so apart from that there isn't any other reason to come here really but you may want to live here and there are various apartments that you you saw what the apartments are like and you can check that out so this is it this is pretty much it and this road if we follow this road this will lead us back to Milimani city this will lead us back to Makumbusho and that side so this is Upanga East guys now on a sunny day you know it's a bit more it's a bit cloudy today on a sunny day it looks really beautiful with the trees and these flowers here and stuff real nice vibe Now for those if you're new and following me, I do have a course where I talk extensively about how you can travel throughout Tanzania on a budget. It's a Udemy course and the link is in the description below this video. I also have some t-shirts and stuff for sale so you could definitely check that out. All of this can be found in the link below this video guys. I do pr try to provide you some amazing content. And we'll be wrapping up our Tanzanian series soon and checking out some other places. But I do trust that you lot enjoyed it and you can go to the playlist on this channel and you'll see more content from Tanzania. If you, if you really want to learn more and see what a vibe is like in Tanzania, I've got a lot of videos on that. So you're welcome to check that out.